guys, WheelTouchGML here, back with another Game Maker tutorial. Today, I'm going to start a coding series, and pretty much just how to use coding. So if you're familiar with, uh, you know, if you only use drag and drop, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use coding um, in place of these drag and drops. And not only um, gives you a lot more space in your game, it's a lot less memory, but... Um, you can do more things with it too. Um, some things that you might not be able to do with drag and drop. So I went ahead and created an object here and you go to the control tab and you see right here it says execute code. I'm just going to put it in the create event. You go ahead and put that in and here you can see you can write stuff in. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'm just going to go down the list here. Of, I'm going to do everything the move, then the main one, main two, control, score, extra, draw. So, the first thing we have here is move fixed. And if you go ahead and put that in here, you get a direction and you get a speed. Okay, now there are built in variables in GameMaker language. So, for instance, one uh, GameMaker code that's already in. Or variable that's already um, in Game Maker is speed. So speed is already a built-in variable, and that's what I was looking for. Built-in variable, it's speed. So it automatically knows what speed is. So we set speed to equal three. Our object is going to have the speed equal to three. Now for the move fixed here, as you can see, we have direction. So these directions right here. Well, believe it or not, there's actually a built-in variable for direction in GameMaker also. Now, you can't do direction equals right or direction equals left without building that in because as you can see, this is highlighted, so it is a built-in variable. Um, Whichever is not highlighted is not a built-in variable. So, what what it is, is um, for the direction, you can go ahead and Google this too if I'm not exactly right, but... um. Uh, what it is is um, you have what is um, 0 equals right uh, 180 equals left 270 equals down and 360 equals up so these are the numbers for what you want to put in here so if we wanted him going right at the, sp at the speed of 3 we would put in direction equals 0 if we wanted him going down, we would do 270. Um, so if we go ahead and give him an object, this is in the create event, so we set speed to 3, direction to equal 270. And we make a room here and we put him in. And we play the game. He goes down at a speed of 3. So there's are two built in variables for there. For that. So let's go on to the next one. Um, here we have move free. So again, we have direction and speed. It's pretty much the same exact thing um, as uh, direction and speed. Yep. So now we have move towards. So what this drag and drop uh, action is used for is to move towards a point. X, Y, and the speed. Now what you can do here is you can type in move towards point two parentheses and in that parentheses as you can see down here in the bottom in the bottom of the code screen you have an x a y and a speed kinda of familiar to what this is asking us right here the x the y and the speed so if we go ahead and just put in an x y and speed so we'll just put in a random position here let's do 400 and 300 and then the speed of 4 so he's gonna move the coordinates 400 and 300 Go and put them in the room here at a speed of four. So now, if we go ahead and play, he's going to move to that direction, um, which is apparently out there. But <clears throat> yes, so once he gets to that, he will stop. So now we have speed horizontal and speed vertical. These are some more built in variables. These are pretty easy too, so if you want horizontal speed, all it is is H speed. Okay? 
or even if you like instead of h speed you can have speed equals zero because remember speed is right or speed equals 180 that would just be like saying um, h speed but in order to decomplicate that a little bit all you need to do is put h speed equals and then the speed you'd like if you want it to go right it's going to be a positive number if you want it to go left it's going to be a negative number you can do the same thing with v speed or vertical speed which is v speed and then if you want it to go up it would be a negative number and if you want it to go down it would be a positive number so there you go with that. Now we're going to go ahead and see the gravity tab. And I think that's going to be the last thing we're going to do. Oh, we might have a couple more. The gravity tab. Now it says set gravity, and this is another built in function. Gravity equals, you can say whatever you'd like, 0 0.5. You go ahead and play that. He drops. Okay, so that's gravity. If I'm moving a little too fast here, go ahead and comment on that in the next. I'm, I won't move as fast. So reverse horizontal and reverse vertical are a little complicated. I'm not going to go into that uh, this tutorial, maybe next tutorial or something. But set friction. Again, these are easy. Friction equals you know 0 0.2. Built-in variables. So now I have jump to position. Okay. Now if I if I was looking at this, you know. Because you can normally say, like, look, it says speed here, so I might as well just put in speed or move towards point. It's already pretty much got it in the drag and drop title. Now, for the jump to position, I would say, like, position jump or something like that, or instance jump. But it doesn't work. Um, that was terribly spelled, but it, do it will not work. What you need to do is you need to set the X and the Y axis. So if you want to jump it to a position, say... Um, like 32 by 32 as you can see there's an X and a Y so if we go ahead and go over here all we need to do is put X equals 32 and Y equals 32 this is setting a position you want to play that he starts in the 32 by 32 um, or he just jumps there right away and as you can see in the starting room he obviously is not in right here 32 by 32 check on the time here okay so one more thing um, if you wanted him to move relative to his position you would do X plus equals 32 and that's going to bring him 32 pixels to the right as you can see if you wanted him to move left you do minus equals 32 so that's the tutorial for today and we went ahead and got through um, one two three four five six seven eight functions <laughs> and um, yeah, go ahead and leave a like if you like this. More tutorials uh, on this coding on the way, and I will still be doing my RPG tutorial. Don't worry. But, um, yeah, go ahead and subscribe if you like my tutorials, and I will see you guys next time.